Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Van Build. This episode is probably going to be the last one in the Van Build series. So dad is inside here already um, and he's taken out this outlet because we need to move it higher so that it'll be able to go above the trim that we're gonna put here. And this is that piece that's gonna go along the back and it's actually made out of the same stuff as the counter. So it'll just need to be stained. And then I think we're gonna glue it in place. Maybe, I don't know how we're gonna do it. Probably most likely glue it because we don't wanna use screws or nails because then it, the markings will end up showing and we want it to look clean. And uh, another thing actually is uh, we got our Starlink. I don't know if I've mentioned that I was gonna buy one, but I've got it set up here. So now we actually have internet in the barn because since it's a big metal box, it blocks all of the cell signal that is barely here in this tiny town. I got the satellite dish out here. Apparently it makes noise. I didn't know that, but uh, it's working well. Um, and I can't wait to be able to use it out in the middle of nowhere when I'm camping, because that'll give me a lot more options as far as where I can camp and still be able to work during the week because I still have a regular job. So we're gonna get started on this, see if we can move this. Hopefully it's not too difficult. Okay, so we're having dad do this. So that way if he messes it up, I can blame it on him. Actually, it's just because I'm scared to do it. There you go. And now I got three holes in my wall. Remember to plan better. Okay, so now that we got that outlet moved, now I got that hole there and that hole there, but should be okay because we got some of this uh, just vinyl stick on uh, backsplash tile. I was originally gonna go with some more like realistic tile, but it was like really expensive and heavy too. So I think this is gonna work out a lot better because it's really just for looks anyway, and it'll cover up these holes and all that wood and kind of give this a finished look. So it's pretty much done now, the backsplash, and uh, I think it looks pretty good, even though it's not perfect. You probably can't tell just because you're not looking at it in person, but uh, it's kind of difficult to align some of the pieces, so they're not all 100% square. But uh, we got our outlet moved, kind of camouflages in there. You can barely see it because it's also white. And so this is our trim piece here and we've got another one just like that, same size that we're gonna cut in half. And those two pieces are gonna go on the sides here as trim and also to cover up the kind of yellowness that you might be able to see there from the uh, stain that I used on this. I still gotta stain them too, but I think it's gonna look really nice. So we got our uh, pieces cut and I've already stained them. I did this all off camera just because I've done this before and it takes a little bit of time, but these are ready to go inside of the van. So I think we're gonna use RTV to uh, put them on <laughs> just so they're technically removable, but they should be solid enough to stay put. It'll sit just like this, and uh, I think that looks really good, not gonna lie. All we gotta do is glue it on, and it should be good to go. So that is uh, pretty much it. It's all done, and I think it looks pretty nice. So. We just gotta let the RTV dry. Um, and I think it'll be plenty enough to hold it because we actually use the same stuff for putting on this piece here. And that's solid. I mean, you could probably peel it up if you really wanted to, but it ain't gonna come off easy. 
So this evening, uh, with the van almost completely done, I am putting on some handles on these overhead cabinets, finally. Not that they were too difficult to open by uh, just putting your thumb underneath it, but uh, I originally wasn't gonna do this because I thought the handles were going to hit the ceiling, but they do not, unless you force them to. So I'm gonna be installing four more here on the back. Um, not too difficult, but something that needs to be done. So we're gonna finish that right now. hours later not really but these are all done we've got all four handles in here in the back we've got one here on this cabinet and uh, it's pretty easy to do just a little time consuming but uh, it needed to be done so I think it adds to the completed look of the van makes it look even more complete and uh, that's gonna be all we do for tonight So today we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, stenciling again. So if you see this part here on the side, these columns here, they're on both sides. Um, I insulated inside them, but I want to make sure the insulation stays in. And I'm also kind of doing this for looks. So I'm going to be using the same wood that I use for the walls here and just using this piece of cardboard to make a stencil. Both of these should be identical. We'll double check that, of course, before we cut the wood. But we're gonna make our shape out of this and then cover this up so it doesn't look ugly. Okay, so we got uh, both of these in here, as you can see, and uh, I think they look pretty nice, um, at least compared to how it was, <laughs> with all the insulation sticking out. And actually, I just realized that I need to make one up here, so we need to also stencil and cut out a piece of wood for that. But now that those are in, we can put our mattress back in and we'll start looking fully furnished in here. to have the bed back in here again. So we got a couple things in the mail today, or from Amazon, I mean. We've got our track system here uh, that I've decided to go with for the new curtain that's gonna go there. We bought some better blackout curtains. They're supposed to be here tomorrow, and I'm really hoping they'll black out a lot more light. That way people won't be able to tell as easily when I'm inside the van. And I also decided to get some storage compartment uh, covers for those windows there, just because I really didn't think that doing the wood covers like I did for those was gonna work very well, just because of how small the edges are on the doors. I didn't wanna risk putting that on and then having it mess with the weather stripping and maybe rubbing up against it. And uh, you know, these also have storage in them, so. Those should be pretty easy to put on. We're just gonna stick some insulation behind there um, and then screw them into the doors and that should be it for that. Obviously they did cost a little bit of money because they're like custom made for sprinter vans, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. All right, so we drilled three screws into here and uh, cut out this piece. That's gonna be a lip here for the shelf and then we're not sure if we're going to attach the track to the bottom here or to the side of this thing. 
Um, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this and also paint it black with the same paint that I use for this. So I already sanded that stick that's supposed to go up there, but we're gonna paint it uh, probably tomorrow. I'll do it during work. But since we can't continue with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on because they're pretty easy to install. They just screw right into the metal edge here of this uh, window frame. So both of them are done now. We got a pair of two for the back two doors and we insulated and used the same uh, 3M adhesive that I used a while ago to uh, stick that uh, automotive carpeting on that uh, overhead shelf. But I think they look pretty good and uh, obviously they match with that because it's also black. And I don't think it really detracts from the color scheme of the interior. I'll show it to you guys from the inside. So that's what it looks like there from the inside. I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, it's definitely contrasts, but we have the TV that's black. All of our handles are black. All that stuff is black. And actually I haven't put these on yet for some reason, but I also bought these little nets here that I'm gonna put, uh, I think one over there and one over there. Just more storage options because you can never have too much storage in my opinion. So, that's complete. Um, all that's left to do is finish that up. We should be getting the curtains tomorrow. So we're gonna finish that then. Okay, so it's the next day now and uh, we did get this painted and I already screwed it up here. I did it off camera. Same color as that. It's actually still not 100% dry, so probably shouldn't be touching it. But now we need to go ahead and cut our track to length. Uh, and these are the curtains and they are much thicker than what we had before. They're kind of like almost canvas material. Um, and they're actually blackout curtains, unlike the ones I had before. So we're gonna cut this to length, put it together, and then we just gotta put it up there and hang the curtain, and then the van is basically done. So the curtains are up now and uh, I think they look pretty good and they do block out a lot more light than the curtains I had previously. I would prefer that they were black on both sides but uh, this is just kind of what we got and it's not really a big deal because they're just for blocking light out anyway and using at nighttime. Well I also probably will use them during the day so people can't see what I'm doing in here. I also did install these little net baskets here on both sides so we'll add a little bit more storage maybe i can throw some books in there or i don't know my ipad or something and then i want to show you guys well how much they do black out so i'm going to go ahead and leave all these lights on close the van and then we're going to turn off the garage lights and honestly you probably won't be able to see anything okay so i can't see anything <laughs> So I'm gonna pull out my phone flashlight and then I'm gonna turn it off. You can see like a tiny sliver of light over there and, and maybe some coming up from the top. I'm like right at the side window right now, passenger side window. Here's with the lights on inside the barn. You really can't tell. Um, of course we got reflections and stuff, but I'll show you from inside here. You can just kind of see a little bit there at the tops and some out of the side, but I can kind of play around with it and move it so it blocks out the most amount of light. This curtain here on the side, actually we, uh, we super glued some washers here to the side of the column here, and then also some magnets to the curtain. And those just 
kind of stick onto the washers here and that way we get a completely closed finish for the curtain. So we can take the magnets off, unhook that one, and then this would basically just slide all the way across like that. I could probably hook this onto one of the other hooks so it doesn't hang out. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm satisfied with it. The track system is nice and we got a lot of open space here and I don't have to worry about hitting my head and knocking down a shower curtain pole. So, so I can come through here pretty easily. It's not too bad. <laughs> just got to duck down just a little bit. So that is pretty much the end of the van build. Other than furnishing inside here, it is almost completely done. In the front above the headliner, there are some spaces where you can still see some of the insulation and it maybe doesn't look completely finished. There's also a piece of ceiling missing um, behind the driver's seat, but it isn't really noticeable. Um, so I'm not too worried about covering that up. Maybe I'll do it in the future, but it just doesn't seem like uh, something that will be very easy, so I really don't think it's worth it right now. Everything else is completely done. Um, it's kind of like an empty house, so it does need to be furnished. I need to get, um, well, decorations are not super important, but I would like to decorate in here eventually. Um, the main thing that I'm gonna be working on is getting like more storage options um, to just finish up fitting the van. Uh, I wanna put a large mirror inside of my closet door here get some more like storage for this area here maybe for you know like keys wallet phone storage um maybe something small could fit up there of course i've also got the walls here on both sides of this countertop to attach things to this inside wall here there's a lot of options and that's something i'm gonna have to figure out as i start traveling i'll maybe buy a few things here before I leave. For the most part, I think that's something I'm gonna do as I travel. So with that being said, I'm not going to do like a full van tour video. For those of you who have watched all of my van build videos, well, you've kind of already seen everything. But in a van tour video, I'd like it to more or less be like a tour of my living space. So I'd like to have all of my van furnished, decorated, you know, have spaces for all of my things, my clothes, my cameras, etc., and know where everything is and be able to show you guys, you know, where I keep things and how I store things and stuff like that. So maybe a couple months once I'm on the road and have been traveling for a little bit, I would like to do a full van tour. So that will be coming eventually if that's something that you'd like to see. But that's going to be about all for this video. So um, I'd like to thank all of you guys who have stuck around with me and watched these build videos because if I'm being honest, I know that they aren't the most exciting thing to watch. Um, I know that. So um, to you guys who have stuck around and have been following me for a little while, thank you so much. It means a lot to me and I love seeing your guys' comments in the comment section. So I try to reply to everything. If you want to tell me something, leave it in the comment section and I'll try to get back to those uh, as soon as possible. If you guys have any ideas for future videos, things you want to see me do, things you want to see me cook, places you'd like to see me visit. Um, I'm always open to those ideas. So I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.